Howdy folks, thanks for joining us, we are 4th of May 2022, I've just, yeah I just came off the wheel, I was just throw, doing some, throwing some tankers which I seem to be endlessly making, and um, I've got a bowl, we had a workshop this last weekend and I did a demo bowl, so I've got to I've got to trim that. This is just a basically a, na a narrow footed bowl. Um, so yeah, that was thrown 24 ounces. It was tw yeah 24 ounces, pound and a half. So let's do that. Let's move that gauge out of the way. Yeah, I just need to get this. I just need to get it done out of the way because. Uh, it's beginning to, I don't want it to get too hard, you know. So I've got a trim tool here, which is sharp enough. These trim tools, I to tell you the truth, I've never sharpened this tr trim tool once since I've had it. I'm beginning to think it could do with a little bit of a trim, but uh, not trim, a little bit of a a touch up with a stone perhaps but it still cuts so we won't sweat over that okay so yeah I'm on the I'm on the leech treadle wheel of course uh, really the best wheel for certainly for, for trimming and for certainly for throwing bowls and things it's very very nice so let's just bring the camera a little closer and we will talk about this as we go. This uh, shouldn't take too long. Ooh. Just lock this tripod in the right position. Something like that. Hope you can see that. Um, enough light on the subject. Yeah. Ooh. So. Well, I'll tell you what, let's not have the camera quite so close to start with. We'll just pull it back a little bit. We'll pull it back like about like that. Yeah. Well, I hope you're all doing well out there. Whatever you're doing in your potting, your potting life and your, the rest of your life. Yeah. So, so when we do these bowls, we like to get them nice, a nice, uninterrupted curve you know on the inside here no kind of corners really so fairly thin thin already quite a, a narrow foot so not going to need to really reduce that too much what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of a dab of water there on the rim the wheel head looks like it's already damp and we'll just put that there like that we're going to tap center it which is a technique that you will learn how to do um, just by throwing lots of pots, you know. <laughs> Make lots of pots and then start trimming and you'll soon, you'll soon, so always like when you when you center a pot like for example this pot was thrown and when I threw it it was actually pretty true you know but you know you turn it now it's dried off a bit and the actual drying circumstances might might have meant that it dried a little bit more on one side than the other things like that can pull it from once being nicely concentric and nicely true when you put it back on the wheel you think wow that doesn't look so true anymore it seems like it's 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 gone off a bit you know and and that can be because of that because of that um maybe uneven drying very important when you're drying something that you have an intention to trim 
afterwards or later that you make sure that you it, you dry it evenly. You don't don't let it get too dry on one side. You know a draft, too much draft, or sunshine. Don't put things in the sun. You know. Okay, so yeah, let's. Uh, okay, I'll bring the camera in now for a bit of detail. Um, not too close, something like that. Yeah. So, so bowls like this, because they're very wide in the foot, and uh, not the foot, but they're upside down because this is the foot. But they're wide in in the in the in the opening. You know, uh, it means that they're very secure on the wheel head because we're only trimming here close to the center and it's spread wide like this so not much danger of this flying off the wheel says he hopefully confidently <laughs> all right so another thing always when you're about to trim something like a bow like this before you before you uh, locate it onto the wheel um, you want to have felt it so you get some idea of the thickness of the clay especially down the, the bottom section here because um, you have an idea in other words how much clay to trim off. Uh, you, you will notice that I'm not using lumps of wet clay here, pat, you know, little pads of clay to, to secure this to the wheel head. Honestly, you don't need it. Um, you may think you do, and maybe lack of confidence will tell you that you've got to secure it, but you don't actually. So just, uh, just trimming this here. Now you will notice uh, here, some scratch marks, lines, obviously a piece of grog or something in the clay caught on the cutting edge of my tool and dragged there across the surface. Now we don't, we don't generally like those kind of, um, those marks, I don't anyway. Get rid of them! So yeah, if that does, if that did occur, then I would, I would seek to eradicate them afterwards. It 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 can it can depend, you know, on the clay, the clay body. This clay body does have a grog in it, so it does have a tendency to drag pieces of grog on the blade of the cutting edge of the trim tool and create like a groove and I don't really like that so as I'm trimming you see I've got this hand here so that the the foot this fingers in that in that groove there in that position now if this gets dislocated off the wheel this hand here is ready to is ready to step in and catch the pot. You see. Yeah, they could. It can. It could come off the wheel, but I don't have a feeling that this one is going to. So the way I'm trimming this is. Uh, let's bring the camera down for a bit of detail. Um, bird's eye view from here. Uh, let's just pull the camera back a bit. The focus. So that's what it looks like here as I'm as I'm trimming it. Um, it's funny. This lens makes the foot width here seem bigger than what it really is. It's because it's uh, one of those funny lenses. But what I wanted you to see was there is a a transition point here where my finger is, you see, so it comes up here to that to that point, 
and then it, there's a change of angle there. So it flat it flat it it flat it flattens out here. And then you've got the change of angle there. Now you don't have to do that. You can just make this one continuous sweep from there right down up to the to the rim. But in this case, I have decided I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, I mean, you make your rules up as you go, don't you? Yeah, let's bring this some bit more. Okay, something like that. Yes. Yeah, trimming's a lot of fun, isn't it? Uh, but we don't want to be trimming unnecessarily. You know, like some, I, I, I say to people, look, why are you trimming your mugs? You know, you don't really need to trim mugs. Well, that's okay, but yeah, maybe if you want a mug with a foot on it, then you are going to want to trim it. But again, there's no hard and fast rules. I don't personally like to do t trimming of mugs and pictures and things like that. I prefer that they, uh, I just thumb them off. Now here, at this point, I, I'm putting a bevel there, okay, hope you can see that, break the corner, yeah, I learned that from my big brother Johnny, I went to work for Johnny, I don't know, 1984, something like that, yeah, went to work for Johnny, big brother, uh, up in Muchorney. Somerset, England. Johnny taught me that. He says, you know, always break your corners. I thought, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense actually. And it actually is aesthetically, I think, more pleasing to have the corners. Uh, a broken corner with a, an angle like that is a stronger corner than a sharp corner, you know. So, okay, so now we're going to do cut the foot ring. Usually I, I do this by putting in the, the trim tool like that to start with to establish the thick the width here. Okay. And then I be, I begin to 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 cut from the center here out to the down into the trough there. So what I'll do is I'll just sort of, I'll do this and then I will, I will take it off the wheel head and we'll give it a feel to see, you know, you take a pot off, off the wheel after you've trimmed it like this, you're going to, it's going to give you some information about how it feels, the weight of it balance of it etc and then I may put it back onto the wheel head uh, to make some adjustments you know I don't like laboring over doing trimming you know sort of taking ages and ages over. I had to do them fairly quickly without too much fuss. Right, let's pull back the uh, camera a sec. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look, I see how that feels. Okay, so this is quite stuck on the wheel head, believe it or not, and we want to get it off. How are we going to do that? Well, the way to do it is to tap it, okay? Just softly tap it like this. Okay, now it's released. Now I can pick it up. And... We can have a closer look. So the... So yeah, I don't want to go any narrower in the foot than that. 
um, the the rim here where it was face down on the wheel head I will we'll just put it we'll just put it back on to the the wheel I will put a finger in the bottom and with this hand I will I won't try and center it by banging here because that will only tip it like that so I've got to keep it down on the wheel head and I'll do that by keeping this finger in the middle in the middle of the pot just like that lightly and with this hand I will come in and tap I will tap the foot okay let's knock it way off so you see how to do this you want to learn how to do tap centering okay we're just going to hit towards the center like this and as you get closer you're going to the taps just get less and there it is you'll find that that is pretty pretty centered and what I like to do is right now on the lip here what I'll tell you what I don't do I don't use a sponge okay golden rule never use a sponge just take your some water with your fingers like this and just hold your fingers like that over over the lip like that and just sort of gently compress the lip with your with your fingertips like that with the water okay that's all you need to do what you don't want to do is rough it up like using a sponge which will drag all that grog to the surface and make and make it rough it's the last thing you want the last thing you want so there it is I think we'll call it a day with that now that bowl we might it might be fluted or it might be it might be uh, decorated glazed and decorated I haven't really decided yet I don't always know what I'm gonna do with a piece in the making process always it sort of comes to me later on sometimes but yeah that that would lend itself quite nicely to to being fluted okay folks there it is trimming an open bowl with a narrow foot hope that inspires you have a go have a go at doing just that pound and a half of clay um, uh, width of it, it was it shrunk a little bit but you know it's yeah it was probably about seven and a half inches seven seven and a half inches wide when it was when it was thrown okay yes check out dates for workshops go to my website simonleachpottery.com above all keep practicing and I will see you in the next video Bye for now.